like to say. <laughs> Bro! What? But yeah, but people can sit on like lives and like with pots and like ceramics and like, you know, the ceramic is being, you know, happy ending and everything on a live and I get done for saying I'm going to fuck someone's mum. Yes. That doesn't make sense. Because that's suggestive and what you're saying isn't. No, I got done for su- sexually suggestive content. Yeah, but yours was like actual. Um, yeah, but I'm not got the, someone's mum by the pimp fucking where am I? The pot thing is more suggestive, it's not actually... Am I from the UK? Yeah, I am. You can tell. <laughs> I've been banned from TikTok before. Um, Canada. I know, Ducky had such an amazing speech going on. Do I know anyone from Yorkshire? Well, I know the Yorkshire Ripper. <laughs> no, I don't know anyone from Yorkshire. I've been, have I been to York? I have been to York. Yes, I do support Palestine. Is Ducky alcoholic? <laughs> um, well, I have got the tism. So, of course, the product of my rhythm and my tism is going to be tism. There's two of them. Can you uh, ban that for me? No, don't. Ban it, I read it wrong. Do I like ducks? I do like ducks. I mean, I just, I'm so fucking ashamed. I live from a country that promotes severe racism, severe Islamophobia, because they're part of NATO. Do I have kids? No, I don't have kids. I'm too delicate and tiny to have kids. (laughs) Basically after World War II, a load of fucking countries came together and went, no more war, and yeah, there's like so many countries in it, America's in it and shit. No, don't get me talking politics. Find him a bit. Do I have a boyfriend? I do, in fact, have a boyfriend. Yeah, he is. Oh, thank you for the little crown. That makes me so happy. They're like my favorite ones. Oh, thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. Oh, no, you guys are back. You were here last night. You're back. Both of you are back. Hi. We were talking about the wonderful world of fucking ballet. Good night. I don't understand. I don't know what you're talking about.
Probably, yeah. But babes, I wasn't made to, I wasn't made I wasn't meant to make it to five. And then I wasn't meant to pass the age of fifteen and here I am at twenty one. And I have been mistakenly diagnosed with cancer twice, so let's go for a trifecta. Exactly. Come on, man. Let me go out not remembering what happened to me, please. Yeah. Got told I had lymphoma at 15 by a GP. Got sent to the cancer unit. Like, had a confirmed diagnosis of lymphoma. Got told that I was potentially going to die. Um got sent to the cancer treatment centre in so many times, had to get so many tests and scans. I uh, got told that I had cancer quite a few times. Turns out the blood test that's told my G that made my GP tell me I had lymphoma um, was actually mis was actually a different patient's, wasn't mine, so they weren't my blood tests. So I like literally got told I had cancer. Um, and nearly got treatment for cancer that I didn't have because of a mistaken form. And then, um, literally like October of last year, they thought I had breast cancer. Um, it turns out that it was um, tip piercings and um, anorexia causing breast cancer symptoms. Did I sue? No. We didn't. Um, this was, you know, it was, in hindsight, we should have sued. I didn't want to sue the hospital, because obviously I live in England and it's the NHS, and it was during COVID. So I didn't sue the hospital. Like, I chose not to sue the hospital um, because I didn't want to take any money away from the hospital. What? perfectly between the gap and the sofas <laughs> and um my mum was gonna see the gp that like originally diagnosed me and like did all of like the entire process and shit but my mum was more relieved like because we got told that i had like lymphoma there was like a small chance like because of how long i could have had it like I was gonna die and stuff. I think my mum was like more relieved and more focused on like processing. Um, that I didn't have cancer, but she didn't see. We did report it to like, we reported it to the relevant people. The GP does still work at the GP surgery. Um, 